Hello, this is Joe Winnett. Today I'm going to show you how to use Karen's Hasher to verify downloads from the Karenware.com website. You can use the same procedure when you download any large file. Usually, uh, these days, there'll be a uh, SHA-1 value or an MD5 value or an SHA-256 or 512 value. Who knows? Basically, a hash, a cryptographic hash, is a number that represents the contents of the file um, as they were calculated before you downloaded it. So when you download a file, you can use Karen's Hasher to calculate the file that you have on your computer and see if the two numbers match. And that will identify whether or not there was an error or perhaps there was a man-in-the-middle sort of attack where someone's tricked you into downloading malware or something. So this is a good thing to know. Here is Karen's Replicator download page on karenware.com. And if you scroll down here, you'll see next to the download link on the right side, it says that the file you download is going to be basically two megabytes. And this SHA1 little key right here, if you hover over it, will show you the SHA1 value. That is a big, long number that is calculated against the original file that you'll be downloading. If you click it, up here it'll show you the number separately. 5A DC. That's a big hexadecimal number. Okay, so let's download Karen's Replicator. Three seconds left, two seconds left, zero seconds left. Now, it has been downloaded. This is uh, Google Chrome, by the way. I could go find in my download folder this ptreplicator-setup.exe file, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it from here over into Karen's Hasher. This is Karen's Hasher. She has a tab here for hash individual files. The instructions say that you can drag and drop files and folders here in order to add files to the computing. Of course, when I grab this, it's going to disappear. So I'm going to hover over this, okay? Drag it up here. There it says the file I'm going to hash is ptreplicator-setup.exe. I'm going to compute SHA1 hash. I could I could do MD5. I could do any of these longer hashes, but SHA1 is what Karen had already calculated. It's part of her uh, her web update. If you if you have licensed the CD or have a site license, uh, there's a web update application that automatically downloads the newest versions of the programs, and she uses her hash algorithm to determine whether or not you have the latest version or whether it needs to be updated. And uh, the file that's downloaded by web update already had all of those calculated, so I went ahead and put those onto the website. But very few people know how to use it, so that's why I'm recording this video. So basically, you just click Compute the Hash, and right there is that number. So let's see. It looks right. 5ADCC7. 5ADCC9. C7. A lot of the a lot of times what I'll do is I'll... I'll uh, I'll compare the first numbers and the last numbers. They're, I mean, they could be the same. It, it's possible that a file could be, you know, come up with the 5A at the beginning. But generally, if it's wrong, you'll know right away that it is wrong. This one looks good. Okay. So then I could click it, and it will come up. This wasn't put into the Microsoft Store, so Windows 10 is now warning me, do you really want to install that? I'll install it anyway. And here's something else to check. Digital signatures. Karen signed this uh, installation file with her code signing certificate. Um, it says that the verified publisher is karenware.com. And we can see some information about the certificate. Uh, it was valid until 2011. The subject is KarenWare.com, software application development out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Um, this has all of the cryptographic signatures and counter signatures. Um, the DNS name is in there. Uh, it was it's certified through Thought Code Signing Certificate Authority and the Thought Company. The certificate is okay. Now you. You can look at that for information, but basically, if that certificate is not okay, then Microsoft's program, uh, Windows 10, will complain. It'll say, hey, this this certificate is bad. 
and that should give you pause. <laughs> Don't any file you download that claims to be Karenware software should say Karenware.com right there. So yeah, install and then replicator setup wizard will run. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a nice day.